all right so we are now going to discuss the general case for a stoichiometrically balanced uh, equation so by general case what we mean is that if you write the equation as new a into a plus new b into b is going to new c into c plus new d into d now the question is what will be the uh, most general form of the reaction quotient and the equilibrium constant for this reaction now uh, as before you can you can write it as uh, the dg or the change in gibbs free energy at uh, we are not writing the minus stt plus pdp term so we are right away writing the constant pressure temperature term and that will be sum over all the constituents uh, i and that will be nothing but mu i dni something like we started with and dni we know that uh, it has to be uh, uh, multiplied by the stoichiometric number times the we can just write it uh, introduce another step so this is nothing but new i and remember when i am writing for a it will be minus new a because we have to include the sign uh, because it is being consumed into xi, xi was the advancement of the reaction. So we can write it as for a differential amount, it will be nothing but mu y, nu y, nu y is a constant into d xi. So that uh, we can actually write that this sum, remember d xi doesn't have any index because it is independent of reactant or the product. Uh, we can write it as mu i nu i this sum times this i so we can actually take now the derivative of gibbs free energy at constant pressure and temperature and we call we called it as the reaction gibbs free energy and that will be nothing but sum over i nu i and uh, we write it as mu y into nu y and we already know that uh, what is mu y mu y is nothing but mu y zero plus rt ln activity of that spaces so i'm writing the new y term at the beginning and then i'm writing it as mu y uh, zero plus rt ln activity of i now uh, if we write it in this way uh, see the beauty here so and now i am going to expand it uh, just to uh, uh, or before expanding it we can also write it in uh, in terms of uh, just the summation notation so you see here that I'll, i can actually write it into different uh, uh, Two different terms one is basically sum over all the mu y zeros and the other one is basically sum over the rt is a constant we can actually keep it outside and we'll have uh, new i ln ai now we already know what is ln uh, ai and ln ai if i just write the notation let, let me just write it here. So what is ln ai, uh, new i ln ai, uh, what is say a ln x? That we can write it as ln x to the power a. That we know. So that way I can actually use this factor new y and as an uh, power of uh, the logarithmic term. So we can write it as new y mu y is zero or let, let me just use the next line we can write it as sum over i mu y mu y zero plus rt and then sum over i ln a i raised to the raised to a, new y and then we are summing up now what is the sum of, of ln sum of, of ln means what is say ln x plus ln y it will be nothing but ln xy 
so it is basically taking the logarithm of the product terms so that we can write it further and in this case there was already a power here so x was raised to say a and y was supposed raised to b so it will be something like x raised to a y raised to b something like that so we can write it as new y new y zero plus rt and uh, ln of product of all these terms new y ai to the power new y so that is our equation and that is basically the reaction gives free energy expressed in terms of uh, the uh, the reaction and uh, uh, the uh, all these activities of the rea reactants and the products now this if you now remember that delta g of the reaction was nothing but the first term will be delta r g uh, zero so that we can always equate and this will be nothing but r t l n q so you can see what is the expression for q q is not just uh, the uh, uh, for the general equation which we had uh, for a specific equation which we considered like a b we wrote it that time q is uh, partial pressure of b divided by partial pressure of a but now we are writing it in a more general sense uh, in the sense that we are writing it as q is nothing but sum over or we can uh, just write it in this way Q is nothing but, uh, so it was RT ln Q, so it is sum over AI to the power new I. So for example, for the reaction which we wrote, uh, for that it will be nothing but, first think about the reactants, uh, which was uh, new A, so we can write it as activity of A raised to new A, but there was a negative sign, remember. Then activity of uh, B, similarly this was reactant, and similarly activity of C, this was product, new C, and activity of D, that was also product, and that's why we have to take the positive sign. So we can write as new C, activity of D, new D, divided by activity of A, new A, activity of B, new B. So this is the reaction quotient. So we, ha we see that we have to take uh, the, in the numerator all the activities of the products raised to their concentration and all the, uh, and then multiply all for each uh, uh, product divided by the same for the reactants. Now, uh, you see a very interesting situation. If uh, we can actually write uh, in terms of the activity, we can write the uh, partial pressure also. But uh, for this general equation, when we wrote as A to B, so we wrote that it is basically PA by PA0, or PA0 doesn't make sense. It is basically divided by P0 because P0 is same for everything and divided by PB by P0. And that P0 actually got cancelled and that's why you wrote it as PB by PA. This should be uh, PB by PA. However, uh, you see that if we want to write it in this way, uh, I will have actually pressure of C divided by, or we can actually think about, uh, we can just modify this equation a little bit. Let's say that we write this equation as new A into A is going to new B into B. And this is, uh, the stoichiometries are not equal. Then I'll have a very interesting situation. I'll, I can write the activity of B divided by activity of A. And then it has to be raised to the exponents B and A here. So what we can write actually is PB by P0. We have to always take uh, the PB divided by P0 because it's a standard state notation raised to new P divided by PA by P0 raised to new A. 
So if the uh, new A and new B are not equal, then I cannot cancel the P0 terms, which is here. So uh, that's the importance of the thermodynamic uh, equilibrium constant. It is not just uh, PB by PA or the concentration of B by uh, A uh, in the dilutes uh, case. It, you have to take uh, the, the division by the standard state and then you have to take the exponent. Uh, you have to take the, not the exponent, you have to take the power. So uh, these P0 uh, things do not necessarily cancel out. So we can say that uh, Q is uh, this and then what will be K and already we know that uh, K is nothing but the equilibrium constant. Uh, we wrote it as K equilibrium. So K will be the same activities but at equilibrium. So Q is the general activity for any condition and uh, K will be nothing but the same thing but at equilibrium. at equilibrium so uh, that's why we can that's how we can actually explain uh, k and uh, q now uh, this uh, question is how will i write the activities so we wrote that uh, uh, we already discussed the activity can be expressed as uh, activity coefficient times the mole fraction but not for or not always actually but uh, for say dilute solution you can write it uh, or sometimes you actually write it in terms of molality also where you write it as uh, say uh, it is the mol the uh, the activity coefficient times the uh, molality which we write as bi divided by the standard uh, state always you have to keep that in mind or uh, in terms of pressure, we write it as uh, pressure of the constant I divided by pressure of the standard state, which is just one uh, mole per uh, one bar. And uh, in the very dilute uh, uh, concentration, uh, instead of uh, the molality, uh, we could also write it. So we know that for dilute concentration, it will be nothing but uh, Bi by uh, B0. Similarly, we could also write it as uh, ci by c0 so if i express the uh, this activity in terms of pressure then the corresponding equilibrium constant is known as uh, the equilibrium constant with respect to pressure we write it as kp if we express it with respect to uh, concentration we write it as k suffix c and of course there is a relationship between kp and kc uh, you know that that uh, you can actually uh, write it. It don't be actually equal. Uh, it will, I mean you can actually write it in terms of uh, something, and then uh, you can uh, actually figure it out. Uh, like uh, what will be the uh, relation between Kp and Kc? Already you, you know the relation. I mean how to uh, to get the. You have to write the pressure in terms of concentration, and then you will easily figure out what is the relationship. However, the point here is that there will be some P0 terms or the C0 terms that will not cancel out. So uh, because the addition uh, of all the new C, new Ds and uh, the uh, addition of all the new A, new Ds and when you take the difference between those addition which we sometimes know uh, write it as delta N which is uh, nothing but uh, this sum uh, basically new D plus new C minus new a new b uh, which if it is not equal to zero then the pressure terms uh, do not cancel out or the concentration terms uh, the p0 terms uh, or the new zero, uh, c0 terms they do not cancel out and uh, you have to keep that in mind so we are actually dividing it uh, pressure divided by one bar so that we make it as unitless so you express the pressure as bar and then divide by one bar means it actually it's just a number and similar thing is for also for the concentration or for the molality. You can actually uh, easily convince yourself that uh, it is just a number, but not uh, not something that we are uh, we have to um, uh, think about. Like we have to, uh, it's just just uh, you have to treat it just a, a pure number. 
Now, uh, now the thing which we are going to discuss uh, in the next section is how this equilibrium constant uh, gets affected by a change in uh, pressure or change in temperature or what are the uh, con what are the contributions of uh, the external uh, uh, I mean disturbance in terms of pressure or in terms of uh, temperature so that we are going to discuss in the next section